Hi Jojo, how are you? Hello, good. You're good. good. <laughs> yeah. Everything's fine. Awesome. So, can you tell me more about the concept? Our restaurant name, first of all, is Dai Pai Dong. Dai Pai Dong means like street food, which being so traditional way. We opened since 2015. It's been quite five, six years now. And I can see most of your chefs are Chinese, right? Correct. And this is a key point, which is maintain the flavor of the dishes, which make us stand out from the from everyone else. From everyone. What is your favorite dish, by the way, Jojo? The roasted Cantonese duck, that's my favorite. Oh my god, I'm really <laughs> curious because the chef today is going to teach us how to make it. Wow, well, yeah. Do you think he's going to give us all the secrets? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> all right, beautiful people. Thank you, Jojo. <laughs> give me five. Today, we're very lucky. We have Dong yeah. with us. Hi, I'm Dong. Today, I'm here. I will show you the best duck in the world. The skin is nice, not broken. All right, yeah. So we need to have a flat skin. It's yeah. not supposed so to be the, broken. No blood inside. All right. You can see some of the duck inside the black. What's the second step? We're marination duck, Chinese spices, All right. and some salt, and sugar mixed. Also like a ginger, garlic, spring onions, like that. But we, we, we stuff the duck all of it yeah, inside yeah. of them. So basically, we're going to grab the spices that we added. Yeah. All right. And then we're going to rub the entire duck with it, correct? Yeah, yeah. All right. And from the inside as well. Inside. The marination and choosing the proper spices. Yes. It is the most important thing. Yes. It's the flavor all coming from that. We boil the, the duck skin. After that, use the... Ah, then we're going to boil the duck skin, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. So basically, when you're adding water to the skin, yeah. it's making the skin much more tighter, much more firm. Correct? Yeah, yes. What is the secret to make it very, very crispy? Of course, the first for me is a chef, chef experience. The crispy water we said, the marinade sugar with uh, vinegar. This one you need the proper recipe for that. Yeah. The malt sugar we're using it to give it more color to the duck, correct? This yeah. orangey color. Yeah, put some like uh, malt sugar that will get it more crispy. The All color right. also come from that. After that, we dry the duck. Use the fan that I over on one night. The way I see it and the way I saw you today. It's a long process, it's not yeah. a short process. Yeah, yeah. So this is a Cantonese style. Cantonese, yeah, yeah. So Cantonese style, we're not putting air inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Beijing, they basically put air yeah. inside the duck. And also marination, different marination. The marination is a different yeah. marination. Yeah. And after that, you're gonna put it inside oven. Does that require it to be a high temperature? We're talking about 350 degrees no, Celsius? No. 180 degrees Celsius? Yeah, 180, something like that. All right. Yeah. And we keep it on a long time or a short time? One hour. Oh, one, one hour. hour. One hour, 10 minutes, something like that. So one hour, 10 minutes on 180 degrees. How are you? I'm good. All right, can you explain to me about the duck at first, please? Oh, so duck. So duck, we have it in two ways. Number one would be a duck on the bone. We chop the duck nicely and then sprinkle it with the special light soy sauce and all these special Chinese spices. You see the color, how beautiful it is? Really incredible, huh? I really love the seasoning with it, the soya sauce and the spices that it has. I am sure if you appreciate good food, this is definitely the restaurant that you should try. And then the second one is duck with pancakes. Duck with pancakes, we serve it with the hoisin sauce and then the plum sauce, and then we wrap it up with the pancake and cucumber and leek. The perfect golden brown crispiness roasted duck. Chinese style. Boom boom shakalaka. Chef Dan, we love your food. Lovely people. What is your favorite Chinese dish? Leave us a comment and let us know. Second one would be crispy mango prawn roll. Very nice. This is our best seller by the way. For inside, we wrap it with the shrimps and the special marination and it comes with the mango and green onions. And then we deep fry it to make it to the crisp perfection for you. I think they are perfectly fried. It's obvious when you look at it. And when you place your chopsticks on them, you can really feel the crispiness. Can you listen to this for a second? Oh my goodness. First of all, me, I really like fried food. The sweetness of the mango with the seafood is incredible. Gorgeous. Beautiful people. Do you know, I really appreciate good food, to be honest with you. And I think when you go out and you want to have a proper lunch or dinner or whatever, I'm always expecting that people does their food to perfection. It's not really easy to find good restaurants, but at Dai Pandong, I don't know what to tell you exactly, but everything is really done to perfection. They have a lot of variety, and you can really feel the authenticity of all the foods. Oh, third one would be our beef one, and this one is a special ground beef filled with all your Chinese spices, and then we perfectly wrap it with our wonton wrapper, and then steam it to perfection, and top it all up with the Chinese sauces, light soy sauce and Szechuan peppers. So as well, the chef really wanted me to try those beef wonton. 
and apparently they have a sort of spicy sauce. I really like their presentation and when you look at it you can directly feel that there is a lot of effort and professionalism in doing those dishes. C'est incroyable. It is really really soft. It's really properly braised and as well the dough that they made when you place it in your mouth it just melts. Those wontons should definitely be on your list. Lovely people, have you ever tried Dine Pain Dong before? Leave us a comment and let us know. So beautiful people, we really enjoyed Dai Pan Dong. The food was delicious. Everything was done to perfection. Okay. Babe, did you like the restaurant? What do you think? I'm a big fan of Asian food, so yeah. Dai Pan Dong is like one of my favorites now. And by the way, if you want to discover, babe, stop it. Abu Dhabi food scene, you should click on the link over there. You have a lot of interesting restaurants. We'll see you very soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.